Did I have yours? Well, idea. I was like, ah, bugger. Well, my power supply was going so damn good. Sitting behind there, um, I'll get a light in a minute. I'll turn a light on, I'll just show you. I'll get this battery a quick test to go. I want to see if it stayed up this time, but, um, yeah. I guess I overestimated, overestimated the power of my transformer. Um, yeah. Definitely couldn't do 10 amps for longer than the 5 minutes. Because it literally did not last more than 5 minutes. I literally went inside to take a piss for about 2 minutes, come back and had a loud angry hum. I was like, oh shit, unplugged it quick. I opened this and all this smoke came out. Boy, I let the magic smoke demons out of this one. I just cut the rectifier out of the circuit. And um, the, the primary is okay, but the secondary got a bit too overloaded. And that did not last more than five minutes. I uh, tested the bridge rectifier, that was, uh, that was a bit hot, but it's still okay. I tested this on another power supply, and all this all still works fine. This is perfectly fine, this is not damaged. It just smells of magic smack now instead of China. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, two amp is its nominal. Uh, I was just um, expected too much from this little tranny. Yeah, <laughs> pulling more than pulling ten amps for more than two, more than five minutes. No, no, too small. This tranny couldn't do it. So the um, secondary decided to cook. I let the magic smoke out, but the primary is still okay. I uh, stopped it just in time as I heard the angry hum. I was like, oh shit, what's that? Come here, just <gasps> bang, unplugged it. This was very well sealed. A little bit of smoke seeped out here. As soon as I opened it up, it was like, bloody, what the hell happened here? Yeah, I let the journey out of the bottle, literally. But um, that transformer is rewindable because it's got the secondary on top. I can cut all this out and just rewind it, but it's not like a mop where you take the E off the bottom of the eye lamination. It's actually a little type where the E and the I are all just laminated in separate pieces together and put it all as one assembly. I have to cut this out and chisel it and hammer it out and chisel it out and get that secondary out and just rewind that, but it's going to be a difficult task to rewind that secondary. But I will have some fun with it. The, uh, that transformer is still okay on the primary side. But less than that, don't expect too much from a little transformer like that. I've, I've, um, yeah, that battery was uh, is now holding 10 volts instead of 7 volts. So it did something, but pulling 10 amps for that transformer, that's only designed to supply 2 amps. Yeah. You need a higher volt amp transformer. That's a little lot bigger transformer than that, in other words. If I want to get 20 amps out of this, I probably need a transformer as big as, as, big as a mop. But bloody hell. That was worth a test. It's a bit of a shame I lost a good transformer, but at the end of the day, what was I going to use it for, really? Six amps, and it's sizzling. Yeah, it's gone short partially in that secondary. So, secondary warning is secondary shorter than a secondary ear weld. So, I'm going to have to cut this secondary out, chisel all this out, and uh, warn me out. Insulated to Australian standard 3108. That means it's got this uh, canvas tape. And you can smell. Got a lot of varnish in there. So it's an industrial transformer, not a consumer grade transformer. Came from a switchboard. After keeping contact with a guy from your meters. I see if they can get any more transformers like this at a switchboard than that. But um yeah. But end of the day, we're here to learn. No, nothing lost. Nothing lost. I didn't lose anything. Nothing major. The uh, power supply is A-OK. -okay. The bridge rectifier is A-OK. -okay. Just the chance for I got overloaded. But oh well, lesson learned. See, if you are learning about things, because I was OK, I got 10 amps of that beauty. But just because you got 10 amps of something like this, doesn't mean it'll do it for long. That's the lesson here. So yeah, if you want to get 10 amps or more out of this little power supply for longer than 5 minutes, you're going to need a transformer a lot bigger than that. And put a heatsink on that rectifier. Just because it's a 50 amp rectifier, with no heatsink, it'll run at less, probably at 5 or 10 amp max, and if it gets too hot, it's going to fail. So put a big heatsink on that and get a 
properly large transformer. It's probably going to need a, yeah, if I want a 48 volt 10 amp transformer, for example, I think it'll be twice the size of a uh, MOT. It'll be quite large. Yeah, probably isn't going to fit in here. Pretty big, so. But yeah, less than that. So I'm happy the just the transformer died. Sad in the way because I lost a good use for transformer, but eh. And at the end of the day, I've uh, I got another project now, so take this out and cut the secondary out and mine my own. Have some fun. We'll see what we kind of. Uh, I wonder if, if we get 100 amps out of this, so I'll put some thick wire in there. We'll see. We'll see. Be an interesting little uh, project now. So I'll right, keep this as it is. I might even get one of those um, mean well switch mode, 48 volt switch mode power supplies, but they only go up to 10 amps. That'll fit in there. You go from there to there. But they're expensive too. Mean well, I don't want to get any genetic stuff from China unless I re recap it. I probably could get a lot of switch mode uh, power supply, industrial one to put in there, but I just did this having, having a transformer because it's linear, like proper linear, and it's um, on the cheap. It's great to make use of transformers out of things for power supplies, but uh, oh well. It did the job, but the transformer was a weak point. So I'll leave these in here. I have got a smaller transformer, but this came out of a stereo capable of driving 15 watt loaded speakers at 8 ohms. I might just find the highest current tap off this and the highest voltage one to use this. I think there's a 30 volt tap off here somewhere, but you're not going to get anything near the current that transformer was putting out. And yeah, so I'll probably use this just to, on that, just to power little things like the Pi amp or a little just small domestic things, small appliances. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, trying to fix up a car battery was a bit too much demand on that little transformer. But, yeah. Let that be a lesson to all the other guys getting started in electronics. You want to buy one of these kits and do what I did? Be my guest. But, learn about your transformers there. That's your limitations. That's the ideal current you can pull out of this transformer. 2 amps. If I had this, the battery was pulling 2 amps, sure, I would have run for hours on end, it would have been fine. But because it was exceeded that, yeah, the transformer wasn't happy. So, a little something that I'll um, keep in mind for you beginners out there. Sad I lost my project, but end of the day it's fixable. No major harm was done. So. Oh, I have to keep my eyes peeled for a similar transformer that's capable of supplying a lot more current than the two amps that Renee was rated for. So, back to the drawing board for that one. Do a quick check of this battery. But the whole idea why I did that trick on this battery, just to see how good it was at desulfating, and it was going good so far until the transformer was running way past its uh, rating. <gasps> Oh, the CTEX fixing it. The CTEX fixing this old battery. Yeah, it's just interesting because you can deal with this off at the battery, but that demand, not for that transformer. Poor thing was busted, that's K-Coal. Oh, I hear sizzling. But not like this one. That's just normal charging. 9.78 volt, yeah, it's gone down from 10.2. No, it's uh, not good that one. But it's nice, that was a um, pretty neat test. That got some pretty sulfury, sulfury smelling uh, gases coming out of that. It's lucky it didn't spark and catch fire because that near it would have been boom, so a bit dangerous. We're getting in there on this one. In this particular circumstance, in this particular battery, I'm just put 16 volts to it on the Nyko Genius. And it seems to speed up the process of having a CTEC on that. So I'll just rotate that around. I'm only doing this because I've got so many bloody batteries to fix up and test. So 
this align at 16 volt desulfate function seems to make the uh, work easier on the CTEC. Even though the CTEC will do it on its own, it just will take ages. I'm just doing this just to speed up the whole process, so to speak. Now, I could use this transformer, but that's only a 4 amp. So it's a 4 amp on the secondary side, but it's only 12 to 14 volts output. The voltage is too low. I can't get my uh, 30 volt range that I want. I want to get at least 24 to 36 volts out of this power supply, which is why I chose this transformer in the first place, because it has that, it's well in that range that I needed. But the current lacked. Anyway, smells nice and toasty. Smells of a magic smoke. But, yeah, they killed my buzz, but it's not all bad news. This is all good, and this is all good. It's just the secondary, only the secondary that failed. So, I'm going to pour out the part one day and rewind that. We'll see what sort of voltages and current we can get out of that transformer. That'll be interesting to see. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.